Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and in this video I want to show you how you can unlock your phone using just your voice. This is kind of a weird feature and, and very niche, probably only really has application and pretty specific accessibility needs, but it's an interesting feature nonetheless. I'm gonna show you how you can do it in this video. And you can do this whether you have Touch ID or Face ID devices, or I suppose none of the above, like if you had an iPod Touch or an iPad. So in order to do this, I would recommend turning off Face ID or Touch ID if you can. Uh, but if you want to leave those on, you can, and I'll show you how to navigate that. And I would also recommend changing your passcode to four digits instead of six if you have done that. Uh, it's not necessary, but it will make the process a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and change my passcode on this device from 258000 to just 2580. So I'm going to choose four digit code, 2580. And I have it set up already 2580 on my iPhone SC with Touch ID here. So the next thing you're going to do is go into your settings. And then you're going to go to accessibility, voice control, and then turn on voice control. Just like that. Now go to customize commands. We're going to create a new command. And then you're going to name it something. And this is what you're going to speak. And you see it's, it's listening right now. I'm going to call it the quick brown fox. The quick brown fox. Done. Then for action, we're going to go run custom gesture. Now the important thing here is that you're basically going to draw your passcode onto your screen. So you want to make sure you know what the passcode looks like. So I'll try to pull up the passcode right here and I can see what 2580 is going to look like me around starting at the home button and then going down to the bottom of your device. So just kind of memorize what that looks like when you're typing in your passcode. So when you go run custom gesture, you're just going to draw that and click save. And go back and save. And I can say the quick brown fox. And you can see just like that, it unlocked my phone using just my voice. So this will work best if you don't have Touch ID turned on, so that you put your finger down. It'll just go right to this screen. And again, the quick brown fox. So I've changed this to 2580. And now I basically just have to memorize where those four keys are on the screen. I'm going to go back to those accessibility settings, voice control, custom. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to click edit, and then I'm going to click the action and go right into that. And then the first thing I'm going to do is swipe up, because this is how you get into your face ID setting. And then you have to wait two or three seconds for it to switch away from face ID to your passcode, unless you have face ID turned off, and then you don't have to do this. But we're going to see how I set this up right here. Run custom gesture. Hide controls, swipe up, and then two, five, eight, zero. And then I click save. Let's try this. The quick brown fox. And just like that, it unlocked my phone. So that's about it. That's how you do it. Again, it kind of drains your battery because it uses the voice feature that is always listening. So that's not great. And it's not super secure either. And you do have to kind of tap your phone or use Hey Siri to at least wake up the phone so you can initiate this. So it's not perfect. It's interesting. Uh, let me know if you have any use case scenarios for this or if you know somebody that does. But it is interesting to be able to use your phone to then emulate some actions with your finger and unlock your phone with that. So thanks for watching. And again, the written article will be linked in the description if you need to read that.